welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a bit of a haul that I just got from Costco. I absolutely love Costco. It is one of my favorite places to shop. It is, well, that's not true. It's always stressful and there's too many people in there unless you go at like a really odd time. But I'm always really happy when I leave there because I always just get such good stuff and pretty good deals. So there are definitely like some go-to food finds that I always get when I'm there because I know we're going to eat it. I know we're gonna go through it, so I might as well get it at a wholesale price. So I have everything right here. I'm just gonna go through each item one by one and show you everything I got at Costco. The very first thing I picked up was this Suja. It's a green juice. I am trying to get myself on a little bit of a green juice kick. I feel like I just want to get more like easy, compact sources, like very, very concentrated sources of fruits and vegetables in my diet. I do eat plenty of fr fruits and veggies. I just feel like I need more. So. I saw this at Costco and could not pass it up. This huge bottle, which is 59 fluid ounces, was nine bucks. When I go to Whole Foods and I buy like a Suja bottle, like a pressed juice bottle, those are usually 16 ounces and they're eight dollars. So the fact that you get practically 60 ounces for $8.99 versus buying a 16 ounce in the store for eight bucks, just crazy. They do only have this green flavor. They don't have all the flavors. They only have the green one, at least at the Costco that I went to, but green is the best at the end of the day. So I picked up this and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm just gonna be drinking like a little bit of this, like not even eight ounces, maybe like four to six ounces, whatever, I eyeball it, in the morning just to get my day started off on a good note. The next thing that I picked up were some crackers. I love getting crackers from Costco. These are the R.W. Garcia three seed sweet potato crackers. They have flaxseed, sesame, and chia seeds. I have never tried these before, but they sounded really good, and I love like a cracker that has a bunch of seeds and seeds and superfoods and whatnot in it. So I'm excited to try these. The other crackers that I really like from Costco and actually usually get are like multi-grain seed crackers or something like that. That's what they're called. But the brand is Crunchmaster. I don't know. Crunchmaster. Those are the ones that I usually get, but I saw these right next to it and they were actually cheaper and you got more. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try those instead. So I'm really excited to try these because they sound delicious. I mean, who doesn't like sweet potatoes? Okay, so one of the next things that I got were some bars. These are Cliff Bars. They are the chocolate chip and crunchy peanut butter flavor. I am personally not a huge Cliff Bar fan. I find that they're really sugary and have a decent amount of ingredients. However, my husband really likes these and he is a big guy who needs a lot of calories in a day. So that's why I buy these Cliff Bars for him because they're really easy for him to take on the go for work. They're not, you know, the worst ones out there. They're not so bad. Um, and they do a lot of sugar, but he also like, he needs a lot of food. So it kind of balances out, I think. So I don't really personally eat them, but Matt really, really likes these. So got some Cliff Bars for him. And then the next thing that I got were some more bars. These are Kind Bars. These are the, what flavor is this? Are you not gonna tell me? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Maple glaze, pecan, and sea salt, and dark chocolate nuts and sea salt. These are a little more my speed. I do like Kind Bars much better than I like Cliff Bars. I personally don't eat a ton of these. Again, these are more for Matt because they're on the go. He takes them to work. He really likes these. I may have a few, but he definitely eats majority of them. I do like Kind Bars though. I think out of all of the, you know, fruit, nut, protein, whatever kind of bars, on-the-go bars out there. They are definitely one of the better ones. They're low in sugar, they have very few ingredients, they do a little bit of palm oil, which I don't love, but overall, you know, they're not a bad choice. I do feel like they change their formula though. Like, I feel like the bars are smaller now. Does anyone agree with me? Am I just crazy? I feel like every time I eat one, I'm like, this is smaller, like this is skinnier. And I hate when I feel like I'm being cheaped out on because I feel like they're the same price. So that kind of annoys me, but maybe I'm just crazy. If you guys have also found that with Kind Bars, comment down below so I know I'm not crazy. So the next thing I picked up were some Aussie Bites. I absolutely love these. These have made cameos in many of my What, what I Eat In A Day videos, I feel. The reason they're called Aussie Bites is because apparently there is a some type of cookie in Australia that is popular there and they are very similar or somewhat similar to these. Learn that in the comment section of one of my What I Eat A Day videos. But anyway, not to get off topic, these are good. They're kind of like sweet. They can be like a sweet little treat or sometimes we'll crumble them on top of oatmeal. Matt really likes to put these in his oatmeal. But they are rolled oats, apricots, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, honey, coconut, quinoa, chia seeds. There's also some butter in there, um, probably a little bit of sugar. Let's see. Yes, sugar. But so, as far as like a sweet little something, they're pretty good and they're also good on top of oatmeal or something like that. And then the next thing I have here is what feels like a 
lifetime supply of ketchup. Like seriously so much ketchup. There's three huge bottles here. This will probably last us an entire year, if not more. Matt is usually the one that is eating ketchup. I'm not a huge ketchup fan. I'll have it here and there, but it's just not really something I eat often. Um, but so I got some ketchup from him. I'm lifting weights. <laughs> so like actually really happy I'm like starting to sweat a little bit. But so for these three 44 ounce bottles, it was like, I don't know, less than $7. So if you're going to get ketchup, you might as well get it there because it's really freaking cheap. So the next thing that we picked up was some coffee. We got these K-Cups. This is the Kirkland Signature Breakfast Blend and it is the Costco brand. So I really, really like this coffee. It is probably one of my favorite coffees I've ever tried, which is crazy because it's Costco brand, but I don't know, I just really like it. So yeah, picked up some coffee because we are both coffee drinkers and we have it every single morning because we just love it. All right, so we're almost done. The next thing I picked up were some frozen salmon fillets. This is from the brand Mori's and it's wild caught Alaskan salmon and it is seasoned. These are really good. These have also made a cameo in a What I Eat In A Day video. I think it was the last one that I put up. I really like these because on a night where I just like don't have a whole lot of time to cook dinner or I don't have something planned, I know I can throw two of these in the oven, steam or roast a vegetable and like throw some kind of carb on the plate and call it a night. And they're really good and it's just an easy way to get some fish or a serving of seafood, you know, in our diet throughout the week. The ingredients are pretty good. They do definitely have a little bit of sodium and a few like natural flavors, but Overall, they're pretty good and great for like a quick, easy weeknight dinner. Okay, so the very last thing that I picked up were these organic chicken breasts. I love stocking up on chicken breasts at Costco. I freeze them and then I just take them out and thaw them as I need them. So it comes with like three sections of chicken per pack. And I believe each little section has like two or three breasts in there, depending on the size. But these are awesome. This is something I buy every single time I go to Costco. This is a staple because it's just such an easy protein to keep on hand, especially because you can freeze it. And I use these all the time for dinner because it just makes life so much easier. You don't have to think about buying it every week and you also save a lot of money buying it this way. All right guys, so that was everything I bought. I did also buy some Tide laundry detergent, but I didn't show that here because I don't know if you guys are interested in that. But I did want to tell you guys how much I spent because I know I've done grocery haul videos in the past and you're always curious how much I spent and I forget to tell you. So I have the receipt right here and pretty much I spent just under 200 bucks, which is like, oh uh, yikes, that's a lot of money. But the thing is, I know all of these food products that I bought are all things that we eat and we go through and they're not going to go to waste. I know we're going to eat them, so I'm much better buying them off wholesale. And I just have to tell myself, if I bought these all retail over time, it would have add, ended up adding up to be a lot more. So yeah, love Costco. These are definitely my staples. The only, only other thing I can think of that I'd probably get from there is like maybe like their big bag of almonds or walnuts or something like that because they're definitely cheaper when you buy them in bulk that way. But other than that, this is pretty much like what my Costco trips look like. I don't buy a ton of stuff. Obviously spend a decent amount of money, but I don't buy a ton of stuff. I just get the stuff that I know we need. Just good basics to keep on hand that are healthy and the kind of stuff that I want to stock my cabinets with. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you have any like healthy food items that you always buy when you're at Costco, I want to know. Tell me down in the comment section below things that you definitely, definitely pick up at Costco that are like good, wholesome, healthy foods to keep on hand. Anything like that that you pick up at Costco, I'm dying to know. So let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you guys are not following me on Instagram and Snapchat yet, go ahead and do that. I would love to connect with you guys on there. And of course, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I don't know what you're doing. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I love doing stuff like this. Thank you again, guys, for watching this video. I hope that you subscribe if you haven't yet so you can join my little community here on YouTube. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day whenever you are watching this. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.